good, ladies and gentlemen. You're back with another episode of Craft Beer Reviews with the Kissing Cousins from Off the Tap. I am Skinny Jeans. I am Ted the Fucking Tank. And we are about to get it going. Hit us up on our social media, Off the Tap. That's our Facebook. That's probably how you found us. That's probably how you're watching us on YouTube. You should subscribe, rate, and review. Hit us up on Instagram. That's real important because we have IGTV. So we are replaying all of our, all of our, all of our craft experiences with craft beer bitches. That's true. Also, along the, along the lines with our craft beer foods and our craft beer cocktails. Hit us up on our email. This is important because this is where you can shine. This is where you, the viewer, the listener, the prospect, can hit us up and tell us what we should make for a food, what I should make for a cocktail, and what we should review for a beer. That is going to be off the tap, gb2018 at gmail.com. Also, you want to connect with us? Check out our Twitter and our untapped page. Both of those are going to be off the tap too. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are doing hogwash Squealing Blue Raspberry. Just kidding. Let's get this shit real. We got the IPA number 12, Collective Arts, brewed with Nelson Sullivan and Mosaic Hops. Bam! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! 6.9%. Go into this brewery. Since we've already done it, it's going to be simple and easy. Here's a real quick introductory to Collective Arts. They are from Toronto, Canada. Awesome dudes. We've spoken with them on the phone. If you want more information about them, go back in our YouTube directory and check out Jam Up The Mash. That was a fantastic review. And we actually got on the phone with them. Like we talked to them on the phone. It was great. Jam Up The Mash is probably my favorite sour beer right now. Go back, check that out. You'll get all the information you need. Right now, we are doing IPA number 12. Number 12. So they got a number one, a number two, a number three, a number four, a number five, a number six, a number seven, a number eight, nine, ten, eleven. And number 12 is what we're finally doing. I don't know why we haven't had one through fucking 11. It doesn't hey, matter. It doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Beer's a beer. If it's good, it's good. If it's not, it's not. We're going to tell you what it is right here, right now. Cheers. Smell. That is citrusy. Fruity. Citrusy. Very well. One yeah. more cheers. One more cheers. And look let's at give her a what about the look? This is orange juice. It looks like <laughs> orange juice. OJ. You would almost think without the glove. OJ without the glove. Oh yeah. <laughs> Straight OJ. <laughs> let's try this. Oh yeah, dude. Dude, oh yeah, an IPA, the only thing, like, because it doesn't say hazy, it doesn't say anything, like, anything in a, you know what I mean? I expect them to be pretty clear, golden color. This seems more unfiltered. Yeah. That's the only, like, this is the only gig I got on this whole beer is color and clarity. 100%. Citrusy, hoppy, bitter. Bitterness is on the front for me. Front and it's not on the back. This um, is a drinkable beer for somebody starting out. This is yeah for an IPA. I would say oh yeah for this is definitely drink. So I'm gonna go kind of reverse it a little bit. It's gonna be intermediate to beginner. Yeah. Just because it's, it's kind of hesitant. Like dude, they're on number twelve. They don't say what number one, two, three through eleven mm -hmm. introduce. I'm I'm saying it's intermediate to beginner level. This is really good. It, it's it's a great beer, dude. This is a well put together beer. The hop the house is on the nose, it's on the mouth. It's nothing on the back end though. Which is something we look for big time like, dude, I don't want to be drinking a beer and I don't want to taste that beer. I don't want to taste that beer all day. I'm not trying to taste one beer all day. Right. Like dude I've had a couple beers where like Middle of the night, I'm puking that beer up yet, you know? I don't want that. Never, <laughs> ever. You know what I mean? I'm puking that beer up. 
Oh no! I mean, I like, say, once you've been out drinking all day, though, like, there's a beer that's gonna stand out above the rest. This is this refreshing. is this is a refreshing beer. It's a summertime beer where you just get your ass kicked, dude. Like you've been fucking just hammer workout all day. Obviously not in the quarantine, but all day during the summer, just hammer and workout. I would come home and not drink this. I'd probably drink a six pack of that and go to bed. This is delicious. And, and it's, it's great. This what did you say the ABV was? It was 6.9. Yep. Nice. 6. 69, bro. Nice. <laughs> I, this is fantastic. This is really it's good. good. It's a really good. It's, it, and it doesn't say hazy. It doesn't say New England. Which, that's what we look for like a lot. Like I like that they don't say pers- that because the expectation is like you almost Dude. don't have any expectations because you're unfamiliar. They say number 12. Number 12. What, what does number 12 mean, really? Though? Yeah. So at least I'm guessing. So it could be whatever the fuck they really want. You yeah. know? But to us, like, we look for that word hazy. We look for New juicy. England. New England. Citrusy. Those heavier, full bodies. And, like, this is like, right up there with them. Mm-hmm. And it's lighter. It's a little bit lighter on the body. Like, it, it's great. It's a great, well endowed beer. I enjoy this beer a lot. And... Like, dude, when we started this podcast, I was Porter Stouts. I've had a lot, I a lot more IPAs. I dude. feel like throughout this Because, like, you and I show, kind of flip flop. You're like, oh, we used to these barrel And I'm like, yeah, well, your job now, dude. Like, <laughs> my job, I do the same thing, but I'm getting into your end of the world. Like, we kind of flip flop where we both do the same thing. He's like, like, we both know porters, and we both know stouts, but we also both know the IPA world. Yeah. So we're both well diverse in both categories now, and it's awesome. It's awesome, and it is because, like, dude, this is a good beer. It's it's well put together. It's a really good beer. Hundred percent put together is it's something that's drinkable. I, dude, probably beginner to intermediate or vice versa. I would say because it's not bitter, it's no. not overly hoppy, it's not gonna like kick you in the teeth, it's not, not gonna screw you on the back end. On the front end, it like it's not a lot there, dude. It's yeah. mildly hoppy, and that's what's gonna turn people off. We've talked about it time and time again, dude. This is a well put together beer. It's a great beer. I right, enjoy gentlemen. this beer. IPA number twelve, Collective Arts, out of Toronto, Canada. Neighbors to the north, Keeper fucking tuned. And again, Keeper tuned, cause I already slammed mine. Y'all have a good night.